Honorable Chief Guest of the Evening, Her Excellency Prof. G. M. Sundarvalli Ma'am, Vice Chancellor, Vikram Sipapuri University, Nellu, Antuna Dayas, and occupy the Chairman. White lamp. Oh, really? Give me a little. Perfect. Do you see? Are you sure? Sir. Unta moonel. Thank you, ma'am. Don't look at me. I'm repeating something. I'm repeating something. It's my privilege to invite Sri Vai Vidya Sagar sir, treasurer of our college and college committee, and to the dais and occupy the chair. Tamish from Rangra Rangra. Alag, 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 alag. Thank you sir. You know what I'm saying? It's my honor to invite principal of degree college, Sri A.E.P. Hanumadar Rao sir, and to the dais and occupy the chair sir. Thank you, sir. It's my privilege to welcome Junior College Principal Srimati S.C. Parvinara Madam onto the dais and come up by the chairman. May I now call upon May I now call upon Ms. K. Susmita, second MCA, President of PG Studies, onto the dais. Invite upon Miss S. Sirisha, third become CA, President of UG Studies, onto the dais. May I now invite upon Miss A. Ravina, Senior Inter, President of Intermediate Studies, onto the dais. I request our Honorable Vice President Madam to preside the function. Thank you. Good evening to you all. Uh, we will start the program with a prayer. I request the students. Junior College, Srinath Parvinara, to welcome the gathering. Thank you. 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 Dr. G.M. Sundara Vice Chancellor, Vikram Sumapuri University, Nellur Gaiki, Swagam Sadeh Ghanga, Manu Kala Sala, President Manu Kamiti Mabare Nathwanti, Vidya Sagar Gariki, E. Vashi Kochavani, Sagata Palutananu, Mana Mariu, Mana Kalasala, 
వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ గారు కమిటీ మెంబర్ అయినటువంటి డాక్టర్ కె మెహర్మాణి గారికి స్వాగతం పలుకుతున్నాను మరి డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ హనుమంతరావు గారికి స్టూడెంట్ ప్రెసిడెంట్స్ అందరికీ ఆహ్వానం పలుకుతూ కళాశాల విద్యార్థినులు స్టాఫ్ మరియు అందరికీ కూడా స్వాగతం పలుకుతూ సభను ప్రారంభించవలసిందిగా మేడం కోరుతుంది రెస్పెక్టెడ్ చీఫ్ గెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది ఈవినింగ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ సుందర్వల్లి మ్యామ్ ఆనరబుల్ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ ఆఫ్ విక్రమ్ సింగోని యూనివర్సిటీ నెల్లూరు అవర్ కాలేజ్ కమిటీ మెంబర్ అండ్ ది ట్రెజరర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కాలేజ్ శ్రీ వై విద్యాసాగర్ గారు ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఆఫ్ బౌత్ ద కాలేజెస్ డిగ్రీ అండ్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ స్టూడెంట్ యూనియన్ ప్రెసిడెంట్స్ టీచింగ్ అండ్ నాన్ టీచింగ్ స్టాఫ్ యువర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ parents invitees press and electronic media a very good evening to you all before starting this uh, program i would like to brief uh, the 40 years journey of our college to the chief guest and to the audience this college is a service organization it started under the society of shri madhur anma women's madhur uh, anma society for women and child welfare the college is a service organization sponsored by uh, rotary club of budur uh, this college was started during the year 1981 with a motto of educating women especially from rural areas the college started during the year 1981 with 6 students in degree and 56 students in intermediate section after that the college initiated to add new courses year after year the college was under the purview of sc university from its establishment of 1981 to 2010 and then it is transferred to Vikram Simbari University in Ellu uh, from uh, 2010 onwards and now we are in the purview of Vikram Simbari University. I am very happy to say that this college is the first college to start PG courses at a degree college during the year 1993 when we were in the SVNSG party. At that time, PG courses are not there in degree colleges. We are the first to introduce PG courses at degree level college. Then, our journey started. The college admitted into granting aid during 1990 and the UGC recognized our college under section 2F and 12B during 1993. Then and worse, we are eligible to apply for plan grants and also almost all the special grants from UGC. And I am happy to say that we are so fortunate to apply for all these grants and the UGC, I am also happy to say that this is the first college to offer autonomous status from UGC. This is the first college in SV University, when we, when we were in SV University, but you, this is the first college to offer autonomous status from UGC during the year 2010. And that year, this year, UGC also bestowed the award of CPE status to this college, that is College with Potential for Excellence. And they have given a fund of one and a half crore for the development of the college. And also, that is in the first phase. And also the UGC has selected our college for the second time also during the year 2013 for the second phase of CPE status and they are given the second status and also 
Second time they have released, uh, sanctioned 1.25 crore for the development of the college. And with these funds, we are able to create so many facilities like uh, extra facilities, not the uh, necessities, extra facilities that is the uh, digital library and then uh, museums, uh, science museums, geology and botany museums and electronic gym, a daycare center, like that many uh, and we can also create, we have created the uh, research lab exclusively for research for MPhil and PhD students, those who are doing, we are offering our uh, uh, research lab for outsiders also. I am happy to say that from outside, those who are doing the PhDs, they are coming here and they are utilizing our equipment. And we have got the autonomous grants. Uh, autonomy has uh, given during the year 2010 and it is renewed till the year 2024. And from then onwards, we are receiving the autonomous grants for uh, development of this college. Uh, actually, the CPE grants for non-recurring grants, we have created with that fund all the um, necessary necessity of uh, all the facilities we have created. And with the recurring grant, we have conducted many activities with the autonomous fund and the CPE fund. Like uh, we have started many courses, uh, the skill development courses and career oriented courses. And also we have uh, conducted so many uh, seminars, workshops uh, at regional level, district level and even at national level. So all these have happened, happened because of these UGC grants. We are able to grab almost all the UGC funds, including special grants for construction of uh, women's hostel. And also I am uh, happy to say that we are fortunate to have uh, two innovative UGC innovative programs and that is also unique. Uh, only this college has got uh, two UGC innovative programs with a huge fund and we have uh, uh, started two PG courses, UGC innovative PG courses and successfully completed for five years the two courses. Like that, so many uh, things has happened due to these uh, UGC funds. And apart from this UGC, we have got uh, RUSA fund from M MHRD Department of Central Government, Rashtriya uh, Uchatar Siksha Abhiyan under this scheme. The Central Government MHRD Department, they have sanctioned uh, two crores. And with one crore, we have created a facility of a ramp to connect all the buildings and other other uh, renovation work undertaken for 40 lakhs and the remaining 60 lakhs the government has supplied equipment and they have created virtual classroom digital classroom and then exclusively one Rusa lab also they created, which is very much useful to the students for these virtual classes and for Zoom meetings, for everything. Uh, the latest uh, technology is developed in the labs. Apart from Rus Rusa grant, and then now the second installment also, I came to know the last week that uh, the second installment grant of one crore also, they're going to be released shortly for construction of uh, new classrooms in the premises. And then the college has selected by AP Skill Development Department and they have created one skill development lab with latest equipment to start skill oriented courses and they have sponsored the mentor also from the government and we have uh, uh, conducted many skill-oriented courses through the APSSDC lab. And then Setnel 
the AP government sentinel, they have given encouragement to the students for extracurricular activities. They have conducted all through the years so many activities, cultural activities, they have selected our students, they conducted many programs uh, to bring out the talents of the students uh, in various uh, cultural programs at regional level, district level and state level also our students participated and won prizes. Like this, our journey started in the year 1981. We have achieved many things all over these years with the cooperation and coordination of each and everyone who has connected with this institution. Our college faculty members, teaching and non-teaching, and the students are, I am proud to say that, where they are highly disciplined and very committed to work. With their cooperation and coordination only, we could achieve all these things. And I would like to say that this college is the first college to go for NAC accreditation in entire university area during 2004 for, for the first cycle and subsequently the second, third and fourth cycle also this is the first college to go for NAC accreditation and we have conducted workshops for the colleges, those who are going for NAC accreditation with the help of NAC uh, we have conducted here workshops to orient them and to apply for the NAC accreditation. So during uh, 2004, the college first cycle, we have got a B double plus with 82.5 score. And then in 2010, we got A grade with 3.14 CGPA. And then in third cycle, we got A plus, that is equal to A plus grade. Uh, with 3.31 CGPA. Then we have applied for the fourth cycle during 2020 and uh, because of so many constraints and uh, with uh, so many problems in academic and administrative level because many uh, permanent lecturers with uh, experience and with high qualification like PhDs, degree holders, uh, uh, reader qualification, uh, faculty also, they retired from the service, aided service. And at the time of uh, fourth cycle, we had only four uh, aided teaching staff members that affected our college. Even though we have all facilities, all uh, infrastructure, good infrastructure, good uh, resource, everything, but we were lagging back, back to, uh, because of that, the highly qualified uh, faculty. So in the fourth cycle, we got a B plus grade. But even then, I'm happy that we are cut away to other colleges. And I'm happy to say that even though we have some constraints because of uh, the government uh, policies, day-to-day uh, -day policies, uh, they have uh, uh, transferred all the aided staff and our aided staff, teaching and non-teaching staff, they observed in the government sector. And now we are running with the other uh, staff members in self-finance courses and even in the uh, aided courses also we have the continuing staff. But I am happy that they are taking much more interest and they are very much committed towards the work and they are working through uh, the footsteps of their seniors. And I am uh, so much, uh, really I am appreciating the uh, zeal and the enthusiasm and the commitment of our principal and the fact, present faculty members to conduct all these programs. Really they are working hard, very sincerely I congratulate them and I request them to continue the same thing in future also. So we have started, I said, the 40 years back. We started with the 
small beginning and now we have become a full fledged college and with the cooperation of i said already those who work in here and those who are uh, supported us from public from management every from every each and every way we got the support to their support only we have reached to this status and finally i would like to say that the dream of our founder principal sorry founder president late sri samson daredi garu and the secretary and correspondent dr c r reddy garu to become this institution as one of the best institution in the state has come to so with these few words i thank you all and i congratulate you i wish you all thank you very much Principal Degree College to present the college annual report. Thanks on the dais, off the dais, parents, staff, and students, print and electronic media, each and every one, namaste and a very good evening to all of you. I take great pleasure in welcoming all of you on this special occasion of our 41st annual day celebration. I feel really honored to present the annual report of Duguru Ravanamma Women's College for the academic year 2021-22. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of fire. The year started on a challenging note as the entire country went down in lockdown. But our college prepared its path to deal with the crisis with some new tools. We have significant accomplishments in the year 2021 under the motivating and proactive leadership of our Vice President, Madam Dr. K. Mehrmanigar. Remembering the fact that learning is not the product of teaching, but it is the product of activity of learners, we completed the academic year full of challenges. This annual report articulates and demonstrates the dynamic nature of our college and our commitment to excellence. The report also provides some idea about the way resources have been used to provide quality teaching and learning environments for our students in the pandemic. The college collectively has an enthusiastic and dedicated team of faculty. The college focuses on providing an authentic learning environment where students apply knowledge and skills from multiple disciplines so as to widen their knowledge. We focus on both curricular and co-curricular activities where students are trained to have within them responsibility, loyalty, team spirit and healthy competition. This academic year began in an online mode through Zoom app and Google Class where teaching learning was conducted successfully by our faculty. Maintained daily communication with students both in Google Class Chat and WhatsApp group. The present strength of the college is 1,569. Practical and semester end examinations were completed for UG and PG courses in an offline mode as per the stipulated time even though we were in COVID-19 pandemic situation and as usual we have achieved good pass percentage both in UG and PG. The pass percentage is 86% in UG and 85% in PG for the academic year 2020-2021. We celebrated Ekta Divas, Ajadika, Amrutotsav under the auspices of Government of India, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. We organized Diksha Ram student induction program for 2021-22 from 1st to 4th December 2021. Celebrated 41st Jyoti Day on December 22nd, 2021. Celebrated National Youth Day for the observation of birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda on January 12, 2022. Literary and cultural activities conducted to students. 
it is glad to announce that our college is engaged in developing the entrepreneurial ecosystem as equal with engineering colleges. Startups have the potential to create employment at large scale in much lesser time. Hence, DRW College involved in National Innovation and Startup Policy for Student and Faculty in 2020. We are privileged to get associated with Atal Incubation Center, Sri Krishna Devaraya University, Anantapur, supported by Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Ayo, Government of India, and AP Innovation Society, Government of Andhra Pradesh. I am very happy and proud to announce that our college incubation teams grabbed four awards in the third annual startup Jatara from Patan Incubation Center, Sri Krishna Devaraya University in January 2021. Best Innovation Award for Recycle Recover to Kumari Anusri, D. Gayatri and Madhuri, third computer honors. Best Innovation Award for Vasudham Ruth to C.H. Goshpa and P. Devi Dikshita, second DBC. Emerging Woman Innovator, Sri Yogya Award to C.H. Gnapika, third food technology. Best Startup Ecosystem Enabler, Progressive Award to DRW Innovative Cell. So DRW COVID Mission 2021, each one rich one. Current situation of COVID is unfortunate and it is a very difficult time for everyone around the globe. To face this pandemic situation under supervision of Mahatma Gandhi National Council of Rural Education and Ministry of Education and Government of India, our college faculty and students raised awareness about COVID among the public as their social responsibility. Regarding COVID vaccination, first and second doses 100% done in both junior and degree colleges and 70% booster dose done to staff. And then coming to achievements of games and sports, six students participated in intercollegiate games tournament women for the year 2021-22 at DK Government College for Women Autonomous, Nilu, organized by Vikramasimapuri University. Among those six students, Kumari Pravallika, S. Pravallika, selected for university volleyball team and she participated in the university volleyball tournament in SRM University, Chennai on 13-12-2021. Fifteen students from our college participated in basketball, coco, kabaddi, volleyball, tennicoid in intercollegiate games tournaments and athletic meet for men and women for the year 2021-22 at DKW Government College. Nillu from 21-12-21 to 22-12-21. Kumari S. Pravalika and Kumari C.H. Manasvi are the winners of Tenikoit and we won rolling team for the year 2021-22 and medals also. Coming to NSS activities, NSS units are actively, actively participating in the activities like Vanam Manam Plantation, Observation of Parakram Devas, inculcating awareness among school children about swachata and promoting COVID vaccination in their villages, etc. Along with RTO Gudu, our NSS units participated in road safety rallies on October 30th. Legal Science Conference was organized under the auspicious of Honorable Junior Civil Judge and Advocates from Gudu Courts for the observation of anti dowry as well as Constitution Day on 26th November 2021. Observed World's AIDS Day on December 1st, 2021, NSS units did uh, Jagan, Jagananna Pachapavaranam Vana Mahotsavam on 21-12-2021 in the college campus. Selected students actively participated in the youth festival program on 30th December 2021. Conducted orientation program Empowering Girl is Empowering Nation, National Girl Child Day on 24th January 2022. Voter Awareness Program organized on 25th January 2022. On the auspicious Vasanta Panchami Day, 5th February 2022, NSS units conducted Aksharabhyasam to 50 students of Saraswati Sisu Mandir, which was adopted by our college. Coming to placements, DRW College is a professional body working towards maximizing student welfare. The team consists of a student body of individuals effortlessly working under a dedicated body of teachers to nurture and prepare students for their 
future careers and bring success and repute to the institution. In this year, our students Kumari Sushma from MBA and Kumari Sai Madhavi MSCS were placed through campus placements in Infosys. Two students in Wipro, Chennai, three students in Aravindo Pharma, and six students in Hyderabad uh, MNCs, 34 uh, students in Isuji Motors, four students in Medi Healthcare and Smart Mobiles, Sri City, etc. During the past 41 years, the college has many glorious achievements to its credit. In this year, we have completed the NAC fourth cycle visit successfully. To reach such heights is possible only with the combined effort of the management, the committee members of the college, students, parents and public. Behind the success story of our college, the credit goes to our teaching and non-teaching staff. With the dedication of each and every one, we have fulfilled our dream and with the cooperation and coordination of our management and the sincere and work-minded staff, we are able to achieve this. We are proud of having such committed staff and management. I thank the President Sri A. Ravi Kumar Reddy sir, Vice President Dr. K. Mehrmani Madam, Secretary and Correspondent Dr. C. R. Reddy sir, Treasurer Sri Y. Vijayasagar sir and the Managing Committee members for their cooperation and encouragement in all aspects for the smooth running of the institution. I thank all the teaching and non-teaching staff for discharging their duties sincerely. My special thanks to the print and electronic media for giving wide publicity to all the activities of our college. Finally, I thank each and everyone who helped in the development of this institution. I expect the same cooperation and encouragement from each and everyone in future also to keep the institution as one of the best institutions at national level. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Thank you, sir. Now I request Asimati Maidini, lecturer in English, to introduce the chief guest. Students, colleagues, and my dear students, very, very good evening to all. It's my tremendous honor to introduce our chief guest for today's college day program. Whenever we choose our chief guest, we try to take people who gain icons, mentors, and role models for our students. It's my honor to introduce our chief guest, Professor G.M. Sundarwali Madam, Vice Chancellor, Vikramasimhapuri University, Nellu. Former director for two and a half years in SV University, Tirupati, with 40 years of professional experience with Indian English literature, Commonwealth literature, American literature, new literatures, comparative literature, short stories as her research areas. She is the author of two volumes of Banking's Radhuman's Wife, Williams' The Brave Beauty and Classic Theatre, etc. Edited four books for UG Common Syllabus, published 20 research papers. Under her guidance, 22 PhDs and 15 entries were awarded. Madam organized UGC National Seminar, North, East and Southern, Southern Writers Meet, Poets Meet, and also Meet the Writers with Pedi Butler Subramaniam in collaboration with Sahitya Academy, New Delhi. In collaboration with International Association for Canadian Studies, organized a national seminar on indo canadian Cultural Studies, and also in collaboration with All India English Literary Teachers Association, Madam organized All India English Teachers Meet, and so on. We feel really privileged to have such a great educationalist as our chief guest for today's program. I have heard from her students that she always having a pleasant and cheerful smile on her face, gives beauty to her profession, and is an unforgettable memory for her students. On behalf of our institution, my colleagues, and our students, very, very special welcome, ma'am, to you, ma'am, and special thanks for agreeing to join us in this occasion. Thank you very much. Welcome, ma'am. Now I request today's chief guest, Professor Madam Sundarwali, Honorable Vice Chancellor, to deliver the address. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, one and all. Thank you very much for that introduction. I don't know whether I deserve that or not. Anyway, uh, that you did raise on the dais and off the dais and the student friends and also the student representations here. Uh, and really, it's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be associated here today with the annual day celebrations. And uh, 
Thank you very much, uh, ma'am, for giving the kind of orientation about your success story and also the annual report. Uh, just before I started over coming over here, I was just browsing through your uh, website and I could get all these details and I was really feeling so proud that I could uh, meet you all today on this kind of a special occasion. The only thing is the focusing lights are not making me able to see the audience. Uh, they are blinding my eyes and so I am not able to see the audience. So, uh, I hope you can see me uh, more bright because of the focus lights. Thank you very much. So, like you, I do have studied in a girls college and then moved on to uh, do my uh, PG and also PhD from SV University. I don't have a great success story to share with you, but I can tell you that this kind of studying in a girls college helps uh, in maybe to have a sort of a system for wherever we uh, study, whenever we study in this kind of uh, atmosphere. We share everything, we can enjoy our life, we can uh, do, uh, uh, encourage, do things which we really want to do, encouraging one another. So, we, we know what is going to happen in our life when we uh, go out of this institution. We need to have a future for ourselves. We need to really uh, have to make a goal, a plan, these are the things everybody keeps speaking and everybody try to encourage us, motivate us and tell us so many things uh, as to where to go, what to do and uh, so many other things, especially when you come from a prestigious institution like this. People expect so many goals from you, so many, uh, maybe they expect more uh, enthusiasm from people like you. So, maybe... Uh, when I uh, started reading about so many other things, I found something from Nelson Mandela who said that there is no passion to be found playing small and setting for life which is less than the one you are capable of living. So we set many goals, we set up uh, many things to do and achieve in life but don't make it small because you are fit for a bigger scope, maybe. Right? So, setting for life which is less than the one you are capable of living. You know yourself. That is when you start knowing about yourself. You need to know about, you think that you know uh, many things about yourself, but when, you, when somebody asks you to introduce yourself, you start with your name, you start about your parents, your siblings, or maybe about the atmosphere in which you live in. But really you don't know about your uh, real abilities, your uh, capability. You don't know about anything about yourself as such. You know one author called uh, Henry David Thoreau, he went and lived in the Walden Pond for two years, two months, two days to know himself, to know thyself. He was a philosopher and he believed in that when once one goes and lives in loneliness, he will know his capacity. He will know what actually he is. So, you have some hidden values inside yourself. You have your hidden capacity inside yourself, which you really don't know. You haven't identified for yourself. So, first of all, do that. And before you go out of this institution, because this institution is giving you so much of opportunity really to know about yourself. When I went into your, checked into your library, I could see that you uh, do things when you are learning. So that's a, uh, uh, that's a real encouragement for you. So which makes you know about yourself. So then what else is there uh, when we, we keep talking about uh, the life, we talk about the failures in life. So now I am sure that the experience you have gained in this uh, uh, college must have uh, taught you what actually, how to handle the uh, failures also. You must have had the motivation from your teachers and the teachers must have motivated you and told you how to handle the uh, failures also. So I have met some of your uh, uh, classmates and students 
uh, when they were going for uh, uh, to participate in sports and games. And I was so happy to see them because that is where we will learn how to handle the failure. So I have uh, really people keep telling you that uh, you need something to fall back. So I don't know what actually that means. So I really don't understand what that fall back is. It is always for the friend, right? So on your friend side, so that you will know what you are going to kick on. So that's how your attitude should be very. So you go, you will see the way in which you are going out, going, uh, the, you know what is you are going to hit. So when the value comes, you will be ready to face it. Always you have to read the inspiring lives of so many people. You have sportsperson, you have scientists, you have uh, your own uh, uh, um, alumni, maybe your teachers. So there are so many inspiring lives around you, politicians, right? So then really when you read those inspiring lives, you will know what actually the failures are. Everybody has failed in their life. If, especially the scientists, you know, you must be knowing about uh, our, um, who, uh, the scientists who have uh, Thomas Edison, who has made thousand experiments. Uh, to do something to uh, get, get his uh, end result. But only on the thousand and one uh, experiment he could make the, uh, the uh, maybe the light ball for himself. So that is how he did not uh, stop doing those thousand experiments. So because of that today we have this kind of a life here which we enjoy. So that is how we should be able to handle the value that how you handle the success also. So the more closer the you move towards the failure, you are moving more closer towards the success too. So that is how your spirit should be. So I will tell you a small story how uh, uh, the failures can be used as success. Uh, a, a old man used to have a donkey. One day that donkey slipped and fell into a well. So yeah, when it fell into a well, it could not come up. So the old man thought that uh, because the donkey has become too old, so let me bury it. So he took the help of his friends also and he started putting mud into the well. So uh, everybody started putting mud into the well. They didn't notice what the donkey was doing. They thought that it was getting buried inside the well. But suddenly in today's surprise, they could see the donkey coming out of the well. So it used that mud as stepping stone. So it took success to come out of the well. So there will be so many things in, happen in the life happening for you. So now for you, you will be seeing the whole world in front of you, especially the students who are going to move out of this institution. You are in the box. You have to now think uh, maybe outside the box sometimes. Right? And then you have to pick so many goals in your life. You need to dream. But the dreams without the goal, it has no purpose at all. You need to dream and you need to have a goal. And you need to dream and you need to strive hard to achieve those dreams in your life. That is how your dreaming should be. That is how you have to move on in your life. That is how you need to achieve something in your life by setting a goal for yourself. So now is the time for me to stop talking. So I just share with uh, something which I read. So this is how we have to live in this world. Because you have to uh, love the world in which you are living because you are going into a strange world in your future. So when you in love, we always try to become better than we are. So that is how the love of, of, the, of something which will teach you. When we are to be better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. So the world, your people may talk so many things about the world and the things happening in the world, only the rotten things they talk, but there is so much of beautiful life in the world. Life is so beautiful and fresh and filled with love. Only thing is it is in your hands to move forward with so much of enthusiasm and especially the young minds. You are the people who have to uh, make uh, the family proud. 
the teachers proud, the college proud of you, and also the country to be proud of you. And once again, I thank your uh, authorities for, uh, especially Mehar Madinan, when he approached me, I could not, I, I, I was hesitant for a while, but later on I, I could not say no, because I heard a lot about her. I heard a lot about her. It's a privilege for you to have yeah, yeah, uh, grown under her leadership. And uh, yes, I uh, learned from inspiring lives, I told you. So here you have an inspiring life and here you have an inspiring story about your own college, how it has grown from very few students, a few students of 50 or so, to now 1500 or so. So this is a success story for you and I wish you all the best and thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your inspiring speech, for your advices and suggestions for the development of our uh, uh, students and the institutions. Thank you so much. Now I request staff, students of uh, DRW Junior and Degree Colleges. We have speeches in a mood of their own but uh, having come to the, the, the scene as a guest, it is my privilege to say a few words. And for a change, I'll talk in Telugu and stuff English. The college and association almost uh, 41st celebra anniversary celebrates for now. Now, association got almost 40 years in the college. Uh, Port to the Grana, small building in Chi, you put on a 20 stage, almost 40 years, I'm associated with the college. Initially, my brother and daughter were guarding the garden. After that, my wife was driving me to Nenna Salvation and Kalaji. Of course, she was retired. Then I also came as a guest lecture, ED programs, and for the past few years as management company members, and for the last one year as treasurer. So I have seen how the college has grown from a small, dilapidated building to a Equivalent to university, madam is not uh, the same. It's almost like a university, with the facilities that we have. Our own construction starts from the construction. We we look for chalaman chusita. Of course, not the students. I talk about staff and uh, other guests. Okay, chenna. But the gondola gondeli, chirvula. I think it was an old pond. Then the Philip Chaitan ke da lapu koni bala tractor lo matu atun dalini. Apadu Shamsung Reddy Garu, a personal challenge like this one, Dr. C. R. Edgar Sakaranto, he believes not up to design, so construction, not to any system. Unfortunately, he is not there to see the growth that we have, the college has uh, shaped up. And unfortunately, Dr. Uh, C. R. Reddy Garu, because of health reasons, he is unable to participate in this function. The contribution of uh, Dr. C. R. Reddy and Dr. Shamsung Reddy is uh, uh, you cannot uh, say in few words. And uh, President Rehutma uh, Redigaru, because of health reasons, is unable to attend. He has conveyed his uh, best wishes to the college and the anniversary. Actually, the last year, because of COVID, the anniversary is also just to the So this year also, we are in a dilemma whether to conduct the cultural day anniversary or not. But we thought, uh, year, the students shall have enthusiasm for another. Sports, functional, uh, cultural activities, uh, it's, uh, the quality of students is much better. I heartily appreciate all of you for the enthusiasm and participation as well. So in the enthusiasm choose we thought we will definitely celebrate. If not at the earlier scale, in the mood of three days at the Joshua now, cultural learning, sports and uh, annual learning. Then you put your cut chart in two days discussion. And uh, there were a lot of setbacks. Still, in spite of all the odds, the present existing staff are doing a wonderful job, commendable job, and they have risen to the occasion in conducting a very uh, successful sports day yesterday, and uh, the way arrangements are made for today's uh, uh, annual day also. I am very, very happy with the way you are risen to the occasion. And with your support, we can take the college to much higher heights. 
and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Prizes. Before starting the uh, prize distribution, uh, the management and the uh, faculty members, they created, uh, because ours is an autonomous college, so they have created a gold medals for the best outgoing students. 32, uh, so 36 gold medals were uh, instituted uh, in the college, but uh, due to this uh, uh, short period, we have decided just last week only to celebrate this uh, occasion. So we are not able to uh, ready that, uh, the gold medals. So now we are giving only for the best outgoing students in each group. Actually, we have initiated that uh, uh, subject-wise gold medals also. But now we are uh, distributing only for the students of uh, best outgoing student in a uh, class and the group. Now I request the faculty member, Srimati yes. Gayatri, uh, she is the controller of examinations. Now she will present the gold medals. I request Madam to present the gold medals. Respected, distinguished dignitary and the dais and after dais, Good evening, one and all. It's my privilege to take this great opportunity to announce list of best outgoing students who won gold medals. Best outgoing students in PG courses for the academic year 2020-2021, late Dr. P. Kamaya gold medal, instituted by Dr. P. Anuradha, awarded to M. Priyanka of MBA. Lacey Grouped by Dr. M. Rachel Kumari, awarded to D. Nagaditi of MSc, HN and NC. Late Srimati C.H. Lakshmi Kantamma, Gold Medal, instituted by Kumari C.H. Ramasundari, awarded to C.H. Divya of MSc Chemistry. T. Narayan Chetty Gold Medal, instituted by Dr. S. Somasekar, awarded to K. Komala of MSc Physics. Sri Cherupur Venkaredi Gold Medal, instituted by Dr. C. Janardhan Reddy, awarded to K. Tanuja of MSc Mathematics. Now, coming for best outgoing students, in UG courses, gold medals for the academic year 2020-2021. Late Sri Mudanuri. Okay. 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 Now for UG courses, late Sri Mudanuri. Narasimha Raju gold medal. Instituted by Dr. K. Meharmani, Vice President, awarded to K. Hemalata of BA. Kumar is here. Okay, okay. What are you doing? Yes, sir. Now, coming for the Late Sri Adhisi Sharadi Gold Medal instituted by Dr. Y. Syamalamma, former principal, awarded to M. Pavani of BCOM CA. Late Sri Allaridi Syamasundar Reddy Gold Medal instituted by Sri Damavalpu Adhisi Sharadi. Chief Auditor, Savera Hotels, Chennai, awarded to K. Madhavi of BCOM General. <laughs> Dr. C. R. Reddy, Secretary and Correspondent, College Committee, instituted one gold medal to D. Pallavi of BSc, BBC. Late Srimati Allaridi Jayalakshmamma Gold Medal, instituted by 
Sri Allahyadi Ramikumar Reddy, President, College Committee, awarded to K. Anupama of BSc MCS. Late Sri Allahyadi Syamasundar Reddy Gold Medal, instituted by Srimati Allahyadi Nina Reddy, Managing Partner, Savera Hotels, Chennai, awarded to V. Manisha of BSc MPE. Late Sri G. D. Reddy, Treasurer, College Committee, instituted one gold medal to A. Manasa of BSc Mathematics Honours. Thank you for giving me this great opportunity. Which was uh, held in SKE University, Anantapur. Papa can do Papa. Okay, okay, look at me. Turn on it, turn on it. Okay. To distribute the prizes for games and literary and culture. It's a writing competition in English. First prize goes to M. Jyoti, second DSC Food Technology. Please welcome Jyoti. Congratulations, Jyoti. Sir, okay, sir, Second prize goes to K. Leela Vati, first MCA. Thank you so very much. Third prize goes to K. Divya, first MCA. Next, essay writing in Telugu. First prize goes to L. Kavishi, second BBC. Second prize goes to T. Venkat Ramanamma, second BA. Papa, it's a program. It's a program. No, no, no. Papa, papa. Third prize goes to B. Chanchuvani, first in the CS. B. Chanchuvani. Next, S.C. writing in Hindi, first prize goes to S.C. Amri, first in the CS. Second prize goes to Second and MCS. Third prize goes to M. Ashu Manjum, second BA. Next, 
Baba, what's that? Second prize was to sit down in first year. Third prize was to give them in the third period three. Next, electrician in the field. First prize was to SK Moisa Taj, third MSCS. Second prize was to M. Ashiyal Jung, second BA. Third prize goes to SK Nasya, first MSCS. Next, seeking competition, first prize goes to C. Sirisha, second MCA.
కొంచెం చూడండి కొంచెం నాగేశాక థ్యాంక్ యూ
Pada itu bagaimana nama? Nama skate policy and team senior inter. Papa mask dia nama? Itu kan picture dengan orang ni. Di bagaimana nama? Next ni kan pinas ramalan team senior inter. Senang nak? Thank you. Mai, di mana nama? Mai. Mak kau pantai lelo. Pandai itu itu nampak nampak dan patuk awal itu baru. Anak bau ni macam ni. Cakap ni macam anak kalau kanibir sama pelalu. Trendy. Kita ramah papa. Trendy. Anak kau ni papa itu ramah. Kau makan anak kalau ni papa. Trendy. Awak ni dia waktu. Mana mana orang kita. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mai ini ke nama? Mai itu lagi. Hei, negara. Pelajar itu nama? Jalan tu? Papa, jadi kau amai ganbi tu. Cuni. Thank you. Okay. Papa. Saya rendi. Thank you very much. Mm. Mr. Director of uh, this college, to command the Vanayas. Alage, chala time ikada spend chesi, students ki baga train up chesi. Alage, ee functions sports day, state sports day gauchu, gada ilo jayan man day gauchu. Jala sakaga nerwin si, pada sebalan ni kolej kita, Ravi Kumar Sarwi, sabtarin sama juga, Vice President mana? Ya, Chief Guest kita ni ada. Vice President Garu, cash reward to Sakkar Iskumar.
Wednesday. I am going to propose a vote of thanks. I feel honored to propose this vote of thanks on behalf of Nuguru Ramnama Women's College. I would like to thank our chief guest for sparing her val valuable time for us and gracing this evening. Ma'am, your speech has motivated all of us. We are all for your valuable presence and guidance. Further, I would like to express my deep sense to gratitude for the president of our college who encouraged all of us in each and every aspect of college. We are highly grateful to the vice president of our college who should on to back for all arrangement of this function. I would like to thank our secretary and correspondent sir for his valuable blessing on us. I extend my thanks to our treasurer sir of, for his guidance in every asset to every minute. I would like to thank the principal of degree college and principal of junior college all teaching and non-teaching staff for taking great efforts to prepare and organize this annual day function. I would like to thank pres presents and parents and students for supporting us for taking part in this event with great our students will give to incredible performance on the or to work to appreciation. Now I would like to thank our technical support and service providers like sounds, photographies and advertising. I would like to express our gratitude to press electronic media and for all known and unknown hands that contribute to the to the success of this day. Thank you to one and all. I would like to take leave with the feeling of happiness and gratitude. Thank you, sir. Students are all for the man. Clap, Jesse, while we encourage him. Thank you. Chippe. Coming to the first performance, classical dance by Pavitra and Group. Welcome, Pavitra and Group.
ఆడియోగ్రాఫీ <laughs>
looks, pretty looks, books, books, bloody books.
సేంద్రియ ఎరువుల్ని వాడదాం రసాయన ఎరువులు నిషేధిద్దాం చెట్లను పెంచుదాం పరిశుభ్రమైన గాలిని పీల్చుదాం సేవ్
Villani College Gelano Distinction for TC District to the Tano CD Giragane CD Lukutar Nala Gunana Nino Napula Palayan Tala me the chief is a TV Chicken Rubulu Nadu me the chief is a Koran Buru Bulu Chica Villa Laka Nino Tisan Buru Bulu Chanu Puna Pura me the Patar Buru Bulu Yeto Sadi the money classes keep a day over the love one to now when the button a Yeah. 
Let's go. 